Okay. Mm. I de definitely need to put that on the video. <laughs> Pretty good. Ashby Farms bloopers. Yes, Ashby Farms. Blue country. Beekeeping or beekeeping bloopers. Beekeeping country blow bloopers. <laughs> Hey guys, Ashby at Ashby Farms. Uh, just coming to you today. So we're out here at a new bee yard that we're setting up. It's actually, we're setting up three of them today. So um, worked out a deal with the landowner out here and we're just gonna kind of put 30 hives back here. Just nook and cranny farming as usual. Um, he's getting pollination out of it. I'm getting a, a place to keep bees permanently for one of my main bee yards. It's pretty close to the house. So convenience wise is nice. Um, so we always put this weed matting down. This is uh, like a woven weed matting and that way I can just come in here with the uh, lawn mower and keep up the weeds through the summer. But starting out, we, we're going to kind of show you a time lapse on this, but the process is put down the weed matting, get them staked in, uh, put down our pallets, and then uh, tonight we're going to come in with our five frame nuke boxes. They were two frame splits about a month ago. They've grown out to a five frame box now. Our nectar flow here is pretty much done. Uh, we got some sour wood blooming, but we're only at like 800 feet elevation. So it probably might, might provide a little bit of nectar. There's a little bit of clover here and there left, but pretty much our flow is done till fall. So we're gonna move these beehives into a 10 frame box, I'm sorry, our five frame nukes into a 10 frame box with a two frame feeder. And uh, then we're just gonna feed them like every two weeks through the summer. You know, we've got one gallon feeders, so we'll probably give them a half gallon at a time and uh, maybe every week, every two weeks, just so that we don't create a robbing situation. We wanna, wanna come in here late in the evening. I can pull my truck right up to this spot. It's full sun. Um, which is good for our small hive beetles as well as the weed matting is good for the small hive beetles. And then um, I can just roll right up with our, uh, we've got a 55 gallon drum. We make our, sh our sugar syrup in and got a hose and a pump and we can just come in here right at dusk. Just, we, we, we leave our, our frame feeders in the middle of the two hives that are on one pallet. That way we can just barely open both hives at the same time, drop our feeder in and close them back up. We can roll into this yard with 30 hives and feed them in 10 minutes and drive on. You know, we can make kind of a, a loop and feed all of our bee yards in one or two evenings. So um, that's convenient because we can do it after dark uh, once all of our farm tours at the tomato farm get done. And so anyways, give you a little time lapse of what we're doing, how we set this up in prep. We'll get the new bee hives in here tonight. And then tomorrow we're gonna come back and um, You'll see us putting the 10 frame boxes and the lids off to the side. That's so that uh, all we've got to do is, you know, tomorrow when these bees wake up, the nukes will be, they'll orient to this spot. Then we can swap the boxes on them. Even if something comes up tomorrow, we can swap the boxes in a day or two and they'll orient to this place. And then that way when we swap the boxes on them, it's not such a big deal. So. Okay. All right, guys. So that is today. <laughs> what we did is put down the weed matting. Mm -hmm. We put down the pallets. The nuke boxes will come in after dark and be put where we want them to be. So like in this, for instance, this is our entrance. So our nuke box will face this way and they will wake up here tomorrow and orient to these spots. And I'm going to follow up this video. But the reason we put all this equipment over there is for when we swap them out of the nuke boxes into the 10 frame hives. So we've got feeders set up. Um, it's a good thing to talk about real quick. Feeders sometimes have a float stick in the bottom. Sometimes a piece of wire, just something to act as a ladder so they don't get stuck. Um, and so we'll put these in them. These one gallon 
feeders I can get because my I custom make all my 10 frame boxes to be a hair wider I can actually put nine frames plus a one gallon feeder in there which is just all that more advantageous to have one extra frame and of course these are two frame splits and our goal this year is just to get these bees through winter so stay tuned till tomorrow unfortunately with it being 107 with the heat index my uh iphone cut off due to overheating anyways um we end up putting the hives together um putting the nuke in the middle with two blank frames to draw it on each side or foundations to draw it on each side and we got a feeder, so basically we got nine frames plus a feeder and got them all fed. I'm gonna take you over to show you what that looks like. Um, we went right down the road, got them all fed up. And uh, so if you guys uh, enjoyed today's video, thanks for watching and I hope you'll subscribe to the channel and y'all have a great day.